everyone, wherever you are, find yourself seated in a chair with your feet touching firmly on the mat or the floor in front of you. And if you're comfortable, be barefooted. And um, if you have a chair without arms, that really is the best kind of chair to be seated in. Not that you can't have arms, but this way we get our arms going uh, without um, you know, in interference of those um, with the arms of the chair. Anyway, so I don't know who is 1352 dash dash dash, but welcome if you haven't been here before. My name is Pat Salner and we will get started. So um, just for the benefit of some of the new people or people who haven't been with me before, um, extra props are always good to have. <clears throat> and if you can see my chair, is just a folding chair and I have a folded blanket on the back and that gives me extra cushion and it also allows me to sit a little more forward. Um, I happen to have a yoga bolster but a pillow from your bed or your sofa also works for when we do our forward folds. If you have yoga blocks, these can be, if you don't have them, they're easy to find almost everywhere, Marshalls, Target, you know, any of the sports shops, dicks, and so forth. And then if you don't have blocks, not necessarily, <clears throat> they're not too expensive, but <clears throat> excuse me, believe it or not, a paper towel roll works really well as a block. Keep it in the plastic and you can always press your hands into this, going from a seated position, pushing into that paper towel roll that gives you support to make your way to standing. I use this, I use paper, I only have one with me now, but sometimes having two, like most times when I practice yoga, we have two blocks, one for each hand, but whatever works, you can try on your own. So, all right, so let's get going. Um, the other rule of thumb I like, I wanna remind everyone, do what feels right for your body. And you know how you woke up this morning, how you feel. You're feeling strong, you feel energized, you feel, or maybe you're feeling a little tired. Maybe you, today is more of a calming day, a day to, um, you know, sort of relax and not stress yourself. And certainly yoga shouldn't stress you in any time. So if any of the postures don't feel right for you, just sit there and breathe, work on your breath, sit comfortably in your chair. So I, I'd welcome you to do anything you'd like with me and I try to give modifications. The other thing is feel free to, um, you know, let the MS Foundation know what you're looking for in yoga. Um, I think there might be um, a way to communicate and let them know you want, you'd like to try this or that or whatever, or we can save two minutes at the end of class if you feel like chatting with me um, on Zoom, I'm happy to hear from you. So, all right, let's go. So make sure as you're seated in that chair, wiggle your feet into the mat and you really wanna have a nice strong connection. So if you have short legs like I do, I need to sit a little bit more forward in my chair to feel my feet really firmly touching down. I wanna have a firm enough touch on the feet that would be similar to as if I was standing to start my yoga practice. So you know you can sit back and let your legs float, but right now we want to have a firm touchdown. Sit as tall as you can. Bring one hand to the heart and one heart to the belly. And we always start with some just simple breathing exercises. We focus inward, so double check that your phone is off and you have nothing else to distract you from yoga. Nice long inhale through the nostril, lifting the chest as you take in that breath and exhale long and slow out through the mouth. Let it be audible. Inhale long and slow, lifting the chest. Maybe hold the breath at the top. Exhale long and slow through the mouth. Just as that one hand on the heart and the belly is touching yourself, just sort of feel how you're, you know, you're getting in contact with your body. Step one to breathe, feel the heart. Maybe it is starting to slow down the heart rate. 
We're settling into a nice hour of yoga, some self-care, some strengthening, building flexibility and balance in a way to block out the rest of the world just for a brief hour. And certainly yoga can be done on your own for a few moments at the beginning of the day, the end of the day. Inhale and exhale, just focus on the breath. Notice the space between your brows is a little softer. Maybe stretch the mouth open to relax the jaw. And feel the shoulders fall away from the ears. Inhale and exhale, sit tall. Inhale and exhale. One more, just the breath. And now open the eyes and place the hands, uh, the heel of the hand right on top of the mid thigh or your quad muscle. So we're gonna use the strength of our arms, press the heel of the hand in to the uh, top of the thighs, gently, but firm, gentle, gentle and firm at the same time. Pull the belly in and push the hands in. Keep elbows slightly tucked. Lift the chest. Inhale and exhale. And at the same time, you're pressing into your thighs. Press those feet into your floor. I happen to have a mat in front of me, so I can, um, you know, I, I have a little bit of grip there. So hopefully the floor that you're in, that's in front of you is not too slippery, that you can really feel those feet making contact without slipping away from you. Inhale and exhale, lift the chest, pull the belly in and a slight arch in the back. Let the gaze go towards the ceiling. Maybe it's just the ceiling edge where the wall and the ceiling meet. If it feels okay, lift the chin a little higher. We're adding, a, as we press those hands in, a little bit of firmness, keeping the elbows close in, lift up. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to use this technique for breath is, that's known as lion's breath. So soften the hands, come to uh, having your back long. And now we're going to do that again. We're going to press the hands in, lift the chest, arch the back. Inhale and exhale with the breath. And soften, come back to uh, straight back or up and down without the arch. Do that one more time. And then we're going to add kind of a fun lion's breath. Here we go. Pressing hands firmly into your quads. Inhale, lifting the chest, arch the back. Look up towards the ceiling, keeping the shoulders down if you can. Inhale and exhale. And then return to straight up and down. And let's just release the arms and hands. Wiggle or shake out the wrists, wiggle fingers, and then let the arms sway side to side. So I don't know if anybody's got tension or stress. Maybe you don't. <laughs> like to know you. <laughs> so everybody's like some kind of stress, whether it's a personal stress uh, about your what's going on with your health or maybe an issue with a family member or just dealing with the current situation in our world. So we're going to do this lion's breath and that is an inhale, just a normal inhale through the nostrils and exhale. It's a real audible sound. So I'll demonstrate or if you already know it, you can come along with me. So inhale, lift the chest and then exhale. You go Ah, and shake your head, the tongue comes out. It doesn't matter, no one else is in your room, or if they are, let them, let them guess what you're doing. So inhale, hands press into the quads, lift the chest, and the exhale, you go, ah. <laughs> I see a smile, okay, it's fine, it's fun. Inhale, lift, inhale. And then exhale. Oh, okay. All right. So I hope that relaxed everyone. Hello, Joanna. I, I don't know if you missed lion's breath, but I'm glad you're here. We were just doing a breath exercise that helps decrease stress. 
everyone can use it. I'll do one more because I think you just signed in. I'm Pat. I think you've been with me before. All right, we're sitting um, in um, pretty much stillness. Our feet are firmly on our mat or floor. And we're going to sit tall, scooping the belly in. The heel of the hand is pressing into the quads. We lift the chest. We take in a, a breath through the nostrils. Arch the back. And then as you come down and exhale, it's going to be ah, ah. And you can growl. Ooh. All right. OK. Somebody's not muted, but that's OK. I'm glad to hear the lion. All right. Okay, let's shake out the arm, wiggle a little bit into your chair, and then just gently rock side to side. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my hand to the hamstring muscles and sort of moving them out to the side. What I'm looking to do is feel the sits bones, the base of the spine, really anchoring into my chair. And as I said earlier, I'm sitting more forward so I can really keep my feet firmly into my mat or the floor, whatever you have in front of you. All right, let's sit tall, we'll go into the rotations of the spine. So just take a moment to make sure you're situated comfortably, but firmly and strongly in your chair. We'll do our seated cow cats, here we go. Inhale, we come forward for cow. So I'm leaning forward at the hip flexors, the back is arch, I'm looking up. And then I exhale, round back. I'm gonna do four of those. Inhale forward. Just come to the forward point that feels good for you. And then exhale, round back. If you feel like you need a little support as, a, as opposed to hands on the, on the quads, use the side of your chair. Uh, you can take the fingertips and let them grip onto the seat. Inhale, come forward. And then exhale, round back. As you round back, the tip of the chin goes towards the sternum, the back rounds. Last time. Come forward and then exhale, round back. And then pulling yourself nice and tall. Take a moment here, wiggle into your seat, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Slight tuck of the chin. You really wanna feel the crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling and that the head is directly over your shoulders. And you, after this session or anytime you wanna check your posture, it was good to you know, use the mirror in the bathroom just to take a check of your posture. And what the other little tip I like to do is place the hands right around the waist and feeling into the ribs and lift the rib cage up. You can notice that if you do that, with just a little guidance, it helps give yourself a little bit more length in the torso. And that pulls the shoulders back, collarbones are nice and wide. All right, now we're gonna go to our sides. We'll do side bends. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale, bend over to your left side. Inhale, come through center and exhale to the right. On your count, we'll do four in total or less if you want. Let the breath go with the movement. Inhale and exhale. When you've had enough, we meet back in center. And we turn into sitting nice and tall. Take a moment once again, make a little correction to your seated posture. Collarbones are, about, are wide, shoulders are squeezing together, belly is pulled in. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna add our twists. Inhale, arms up overhead and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, slow, steady. Ideally, you wanna still keep those feet planted, anchored into your floor or mat in front of you so that both hips stay equally weighted into the chair seat so you're not lifting over. Does that make sense? Inhale and exhale. And we release the arms down. What we're doing here is we're building core strength and stability. So that a bit of that is your balance. <clears throat> okay, so we've done all five rotations of the spine. And now we'll, um, let's sit back in the chair a bit. We'll do a little bit of work for our neck. 
our eyes. And again, returning to some breath work. Okay, so <clears throat> sit back in the chair, but sit tall. And we'll do a couple of shoulder rolls. Inhale, the shoulders come up, back and down. It's a great way to release some tension in the upper back. Inhale and exhale. You can do this with your eyes closed and finish and we meet back in center. Push those heels of the hands into the thighs once again to pull yourself to sit as tall as you can. Inhale and exhale. All right, so let's do some neck stretches. So we're going to go side to side and then forward. And we're going to take these very slowly and you can guide your head in each direction. Sitting tall, scoop the belly in, inhale and exhale, tip the head over to the left side. So now I've moved my hands from my thighs, which you can keep there, or you can hold onto the leg of the chair for a little support as you bend over to the left side, letting a nice strong neck happen. Inhale and exhale. Use the fingertips of the left hand to guide the head back up to center. Let's go to the other side, sitting tall. Keep your eyes open. So if you feel dizzy, these kinds of movements are best to do with your eyes open and look straight ahead. And we go over to your right side. Eyes wide open. Keep one thing in front of you in your, um, in your sight line and using the fingertips to bring yourself back up. And we'll do that two more times to each side. Inhale and then exhale and be kind and gentle to your body. Back over to the right and guide the head back up. Last time to the left, inhale, sitting tall, guiding the head or letting the head go over to the left side and maybe moving the, if the hands are still on the thighs, Move them to the legs of the chair or the seat of the chair. And let's get a little bit more of a stretch. Breathing in and out, pulling the shoulders away, and then taking the fingertips of the left hand and guide the head back up. And one more, last time to the right for the side stretches. Again, those hands can stay on the lap, quads or to the legs of the chair as you hold on gently and get a nice side stretch uh, this way. All right, take your time, bring your head back up to neutral. All right, let's do, tip our chin down. Inhale, sitting as tall as you can, scoop the belly and tuck the chin down. Inhale and exhale. You can interlace the fingers behind the head so that the palms cup the back of the head as a gentle, uh, uh, guide to push the head down. Inhale, push the head into the hands, elbows are wide, lift the chest. And exhale, inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, up tall. Last time we curl down, chin towards the chest, gently holding onto the back of the head and just hold that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Push the head into the hands as you bring yourself back up. Sitting tall, release the arms down. Shoulder roll. All right, let's stretch our eyes as wide as you can. Open, 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 wide, stretching. Maybe there's even a little bit of a furl in the brow. Not the brow, but the forehead. Inhale and exhale, blink. Soften, look all the way over to your left side. Look through center, go over to your right. Look straight ahead, blink, blink. Look up, come back to neutral or center, go over to your left, 
stretching eyes wide, come through center, and then go over to the left. And blink, blink, and shake all that out. All right, let's go into some uh, cow face arms. Inhale, stretching that right arm straight up, lift, lift the chest, bend the elbow, press the head into the arm. Inhale and exhale, taking your right arm and reach across, pull yourself tall. Inhale and exhale. Don't have to make this a tough one. So wherever you can reach, if the arms, if you feeling too much of a stretch there, just go to here. You know, it doesn't have to be up and over, just to where it feels good. Lifting the chest. So all these upper body postures, except for maybe the eye movement thing, we're creating lots of space in the ribs and the lungs, which makes breathing that much easier. Inhale and exhale. Let's release the right arm, release the left arm. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. And we go to the other side, stretching your, uh, your right arm straight, straight up. Inhale, exhale, bend. Press the head into that arm. Inhale and exhale. Taking your left, reaching across towards the elbow or maybe the tricep as you press in. Nice opening of the chest here. Inhale and exhale. You may notice that one side you've got a better range. Well, I shouldn't say better. One side might be not as loose or as open. And that's not a judgment. It's just the way our bodies are. We're not symmetrical. And we release the left, release the right. Shoulder roll. Inhale and exhale. Interlace the fingers and pull them out in front of you. And as you pull them out, again, your choice to add a little bit more strength to this move by stretching, feeling that a little bit more opening between the shoulder blades. The arm should be parallel with the floor. Or straight out in front of you if that works. Inhale and exhale, stretching. And then lift the arms. Let the gaze fall the arms as they go up overhead. Inhale and exhale, and then flip the palms. Both arms are up this time. Again, if interlaced fingers is not comfy, just unlace them and just hold on to wrists or just use your palms together. But if you're okay with this, it's a nice way to open up the hands, that flipped position. Inhale and exhale. You might arch the back a bit. Look up at the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. It feels safe to bring the arms back a bit more. Try that. Inhale and exhale. And then we slowly lower the arms, keeping them open. Palms push away. Inhale and exhale. This is a great stretch. And release and soften. Shake that out. And now let's just take one arm and then the other. So taking your left hand arm straight out in front of you, flex the wrist, and then take the uh, hand the right hand and then just open, give a gentle stretch here. Maybe open up the fingers a bit more and then stretch back. Take a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. And release, shake that out. Let's do that on the opposite side, stretching out your right arm. Flex the wrist, maybe open up those fingers, taking your left and reaching for the fingers and pulling back gently. A few breaths. And release and shake that out. So just like I, uh, we work on our posture, pulling shoulders back, sitting tall, really counters a lot of our daily activity, such as working at the computer or driving or any household projects or, or gardening or golfing or whatever. So pulling back, 
for the opening of the torso is good. Same thing with our hands. So much of what we do with our hands is, you know, it's curved down this way, whether we're keyboarding or knitting or cooking or whatever. So getting that flex stretch is good so that we open up the palm. And as we age, you know, we get a little stiffer and more um, challenged to have mobility in our hands. So that's good for all of us. So let's just shake out those hands. All right. So <clears throat> next move is we're going to cross the arms in front of us. We did behind us. Now we'll go um, across. Let's stretch those arms out wide. Maybe as you do that, feel a gentle squeezing of those shoulder blades together. The chest is nice and open. Palms are facing away from you. Inhale and then exhale, bringing your left over to the right and then crossing the arms. So your right arm is underneath the left and you're getting a nice stretch in the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. If you feel comfy, turn your head over that left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Remember to sit tall. Inhale and exhale. And let's unwind. Open those arms back up again. Gently squeezing shoulder blades. The chest is lifted. Inhale and exhale. Taking your right across the body. And linking with the left. To get a stretch here. So the stretch you might feel in the deltoid muscle of the shoulder, maybe a bit of the tricep. And if it's all right, turn the head over your right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. And let's unwind and shake that out. All right, a uh, couple more things to do for the upper body and that will do the tapping and the vibration. So here, Place your fingertips right around the collar of your shirt and you can either go through the fabric or if you want to pull the fabric down so it's fingertips right to the to the neck and the thyroid area and we're just going to tap gently you can close your eyes now and gently create that vibrational sensation and you can hum your way through this too mm, creating and letting those fingertips Tap into the sternum, collarbones, maybe going out towards the shoulders. Mm, try that vibrational sound. Tapping up the neck, stretching the jaw, hands to the jawline. Take off your glasses if they're in the way. Let the fingertips go right along the side of the face. Actually, right where that TMJ bone, where the jaw, the lower and the upper jaw meet. Stretch that open. Let the fingertips go right outside the eyes, right along the temples, up to the forehead. Tap, tap, tap. A little bit of self-care and release and opening your eyes, shaking out your hands. All right, I think we've taken care of the top half of our body. Time to work our legs and maybe arms and legs together. So I'm gonna move myself more forward back into the in the chair, I was sitting back. Now I really wanna make sure my feet are touching down. I'm gonna once again, use the heel of the hand and use this as a technique to pull myself a little taller, pressing my feet firmly into the mat. Inhale and exhale, I'm looking straight ahead. I'm going to lift my left leg or you're gonna lift your left leg up. Inhale and exhale down. Very simple, it's a little core work, a little control. And if you need to hold the side of the chair, fine. Inhale the other leg up and exhale down. Sitting tall, inhale and exhale. Back and forth. Make sure the breath is flowing. Inhale and exhale. Couple more. Sit tall and come to stillness. Hands, heels of the hands to the legs. Once again, pull yourself a little taller. Inhale and exhale. Drop those shoulders. Let the gaze be straight ahead. All right, we're going to add the arms. 
to that leg lift and we'll be crisscrossing, all right? So maybe we'll just do arms alone and then add the legs in. So raise your left arm up with a bent elbow and we'll just go from here, almost cactus arms, inhale up, exhale, cross it over. Elbow is gonna point to the opposite knee. Inhale, open, exhale, cross. Inhale, open, exhale, cross. Inhale, open, exhale, cross. Let's do the other arm alone before we add the legs. Cactus arm, and what I mean by that, my forearm is somewhat parallel to the floor and the um, forearm is upright or as best you can. That's fine, however we do this. Inhale, and then exhale, we cross. Inhale, open, exhale, cross. Four times, this is three, inhale, Exhale, last time, inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, we cross. And we bring the arm down. All right, we're gonna do leg and arm together. If you're ready for that, here we go. The arms come up and we'll alternate. Inhale, open, exhale, left knee, right leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, tall. Exhale, twist and lift. Putting tall in between. And I lost count, but this feels good. You can quit when you're ready. I'll do finishing up there, I think. I can't remember, I lost track. Sometimes I get into a flow and whatever. All right, here we go. So I hope that all worked. Take a moment now, once again, to adjust your sits bones by moving hamstring muscles out of the way. All right. So now we're gonna do a little bit more of a stretch. We're going to extend one leg out and then the other. So this is what requires a nice firm connection to the floor, sitting tall, pull the shoulders back. Inhale, stretch that le uh, your left leg out in front of you. And then inhale, bring it back in. Inhale out and exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. So I hope you got a sensation that you were working your quad muscles when we were doing that move. We're gonna to go to the other side, sit tall, scoop the belly in, inhale, stretch away. My foot is flexed and I'm getting some move uh, work in that quad and we bring the leg in. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale, stretch, and exhale, come back in. All right. <clears throat> so now let's uh, sit back a bit. We're going to go into a figure four stretch. So we're gonna cross your uh, right ankle onto the left thigh. And this may be challenging in that the weight of the leg into the quad of the opposite leg, if that um, may, feel not so comfy, use a towel or a blanket. Um, so you can just actually even place your blanket right on top of that leg and that softens that pose. So try that. So if you're new to the class, or as I said earlier, bring a towel, blanket, whatever, have, have props at hand so you can use them. So we're gonna sit tall in our figure four stretch. So this is a great stretch for our hamstring for the um, little bit of hamstring, but mainly the hip and the glute. And I have my left hand, put your left hand on your right foot and a gentle, once again, we're just opening up only to a point of stretch, not strain. Inhale and exhale, scoop the belly, sit as tall as you can in this cross leg position. Inhale and exhale. Take the forearm to the lower leg and lean in. Inhale and exhale. Again, a little more lean if you can, leaning in. Inhale and exhale. If you're feeling comfy, you can tuck the chin, let the head hang. Inhale and exhale. Place your left arm on top of the right as you fold into this nice figure four stretch. Back it off if you're feeling too much, meaning it shouldn't hurt at all. 
inhale and exhale. Let's pull ourselves tall and staying in this position for one or two more breaths. We're gonna do a little self-care of our foot. So starting with the thumbs at the toes and the fingertips on the top of the foot, just give yourself a little massage of each and every toe, warming them up, getting a little bit of movement and blood flow down in the toe area. Sometimes this helps with neuropathy, warming them up, making sure there's some blood flow down into the toes. And we, and we massage the foot with the thumbs into the ball of the foot, into the arch. Down, let the thumb slide down towards the heel and all the way maybe to the ankle. Really give a nice massage and clap, clap that foot a little bit and gently move the leg off. And if you just excuse me one moment, my sprinkler system has gone on and I'm gonna close my door. Okay, all right. Just had a rainstorm last night, but the community, the condo I'm in, they seem to think we have to have water. All right, we're gonna to go to the other side. Same thing here. You may or may not need a towel, a blanket on your thigh but that's one thing to give yourself a little bit more comfort when we go to side two for figure four stretch. Sit tall, inhale and exhale, flex the foot, inhale and exhale. When you're ready and if you're comfortable doing so, forearm to the leg, inhale and exhale, lean forward, inhale and exhale, place your Right forearm on top of the left. Gives yourself a little bit more way to stretch into this space. Back it off if it's too much. Feel comfortable coming forward, do so. And as you come forward, you can tip the head down. Inhale and exhale. And start to pull yourself tall. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that foot massage of this side. Thumbs to the toes, fingertips on the top of the foot and start a little bit of massage right around the toes. Warm them up if they're cold. And massage from the ball of the foot to the arch of foot to the heel and maybe a bit of the ankle. And then tap, tap, tap. And we take care of that. All right. So we're gonna work a little bit. I know it's seated yoga, but we wanna, I think, build some strength on how do you get out of a chair? And the best, and we can use, obviously, if you're in an armchair, you can push your upper body into the armchair, arms in, or um, and then the other part of getting yourself up and out of a chair is to use your core strength. And then certainly the hands can be on the seat of the chair. So again, this is another opportunity to sit a little bit more forward in your chair. Before we even get out of the chair, press the feet firmly in to the, into the floor. Gonna, and then we'll add either the block or the uh, uh, paper towel roll and I'll, that will help strengthen our legs. So sitting forward in your chair, so your feet are gonna activate here. You're gonna really press them in, pull your belly in, hands, heels of the hands to the quads, inhale and exhale. Maybe wiggle toes, press those feet in, inhale and exhale and soften. Let's do that two more times and then we'll do that with the block or the paper towel roll. Here we go. Press the hands in to the heel of the hand into the quads, press feet in, pull yourself tall. Inhale and exhale, soften. Do that, I think two more times I said. Inhale, sitting tall, press feet down, heel the hands into the quads, Lift the chest, push the feet into the mat. 
and soften. And last time, inhale and exhale, pressing the feet, use the hands to help guide that movement, pressing the legs in, belly scooped up, inhale and exhale and soften. All right, either the paper towel roll, block, a book works too, but sometimes book covers can be too hard. Um, paper towels are really forgiving. They're a little softer than even a block. All right. So this is going to be a great adductor muscle uh, work here. So either the paper towel roll or your block. If you're using a block, I'm using it on the narrowest side. Okay, so it's not this side and it's not um it's not this side it's the, the skinnier side so wherever you are again this works if you've got depending on the length of your leg is where you sit in your chair using this block to press in we're going to keep our core engaged rib cage is lifted inhale we've loosened exhale squeeze together inhale soften and loose Exhale, squeeze those legs together. Notice where the muscle tone is happening. Inhale, loosen. Exhale, press in. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale apart, exhale, press in. And move that block or paper towel out of the way. So we're going to do some lifting out of the chair. Doesn't have to be much but I think this is really great. Um, I assume everyone's, and maybe I'm making an assumption that shouldn't be there, but we're going to push up and out of the chair. So those feet have to really press into the floor. You certainly can use your hands. See if you can do it without. Inhale, sitting tall, exhale, push up, and let's keep the knees bent and then sit back down. Inhale, push up, exhale, sit down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, push up and exhale down and soften. So that's, um, that's good practice because getting up and down is what's gonna help us as we age to move from chair to standing to our personal daily needs, getting up and down is important. So keeping our legs strong um, is an important thing to do. Um, all right, so let's just shake everything out. Sit back in your chair. And then just let those legs, now that if you're like me, you can sit back and those legs sort of swing a bit. Inhale and exhale, just soften the legs, gently swing side to side. And bringing the feet down. Let's. Let the legs come back up. We're going to flex the ankles and point, flex, point. Keep the breath flowing. And circle ankles. One direction and then the other. and shake out the legs. All right, we're gonna do balance and you can do this staying seated in your chair if you choose, or if you're ready to stand with me, we're going to do use the use of the chair and do a tree pose for balance. So I'm gonna first show you if you're going to stay in your chair, again, coming forward, starting with the left leg, and then we'll do it all together. Press that left foot into the mat, best you can, and then lift the right. So maybe the sole of the foot comes to the ankle of your left. Inhale and exhale. So one leg is off the ground. And then we will go to the other side. If you're feeling good and wanna try standing doing this, stand next to the chair you're in. Using the support of your chair, standing tall, pull the shoulders back. So this is standing mountain as you're standing next to your chair, slight tuck of the chin, 
press your left foot into the mat and start to lift your right foot up. So there's a bit of a turnout. Inhale and exhale. The sole of the foot can come up or you can keep the toe down. So that's standing tree. But if you are more comfortable doing this in the chair, which obviously um, I, I hope you are, sitting tall, we're gonna just lift, you're gonna lift your right foot off the mat, pressing your left foot firmly into the mat. Inhale and exhale. If you're standing, release your foot down. If you're seated, release that foot down. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. If you're doing the standing tree, using the chair, switch sides. So now your right leg is your standing leg and the sole of your left comes up or toe down. <clears throat> if you're seated, inhale and exhale, pressing your right foot into your mat and lifting the left. Inhale and exhale, sitting tall. Inhale and exhale, and we soften. Those who are standing, please return to your chair. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do a pose that's called awkward chair, so it can be done standing or can be done in the chair. This one I would recommend sitting a little bit more forward in your chair, press both feet into the mat. Heel of the hands once again helps lift the chest. Inhale and exhale. Let's bring the hands together at heart center, thumbs pressing towards the sternum. Take a breath here, arch the back. Inhale and exhale. And we're gonna do some twists here. Inhale, we're sitting tall. Exhale, we twist. So your right elbow will go to your left thigh. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, tall. Exhale, so it's a twist. We're also sitting tall with the arch in the back. Couple more, inhale tall, exhale twist. Inhale tall, exhale twist. Inhale tall, exhale twist. Last time, inhale tall, exhale twist and release the arms down. Take a breath, inhale and exhale and, ro and roll the shoulders. All right, going to um, start quieting down by doing um, some <clears throat> couple other moves that will be a bit of a stretch. So now we wanna roll, walk, <laughs> sit back in our chair. And if you have a folded blanket, a pillow, a yoga bolster, whatever you have for some extra cushion. You wanna have something on your lap, sitting back, wiggle into that chair and using your bolster or pillow on your lap and have it push in towards your belly. Let the arms rest softly, forearms rest softly on the bolster and let the feet touch, but then it's not a firm touch, just a light touch on the floor. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to scoop the belly and then sort of fold our torso over the pillow or bolster, whatever you have. Inhale and exhale. So pressing that into the belly, the forearms are folded. Inhale and exhale. Then we, as you come forward to your comfort, lean forward. Then you tuck your chin. Let the head fall down. Maybe the chin touches down towards the sternum. Inhale and exhale. Slide the hands um, so that they're one on top of the other. So you're gonna move the forearms out to the edges of your pillow and let one hand stack on top of the other as you round your back. And if your head doesn't touch down, the other way to do this is to make a fist, one fist and then the other fist and letting the forehead touch the top fist. Press into your hands. So those hands press into the pillow and relieving the tension in the back of the neck. 
breathing in and out. And release those, um, if your hands were, uh, were in a fist, release those, soften those. Let the arms stretch long in front of you. Inhale and exhale. Now, we're gonna, if you're comfortable, we're gonna fold a little bit more forward, this time keeping that head tucked. Let the arms dangle. We're coming into a forward fold. Just soften the back so it's almost wrapping around your blanket or pillow, whatever you have. Sometimes people refer to this as sort of melting in. So at this point in yoga practice, we're starting to soften and slow down. So release the core engagement of your belly that I keep talking about. Now let's soften the belly. Inhale and exhale. And carefully, we're gonna bring ourselves back up to seated moving the hands from that dangle position, let them slide up your legs, touching the top of your pillow and pulling yourself tall. Take your time as you get there. Inhale and exhale and soften. All right, so now let's start our um, visual imagery for getting into our relaxation. So make yourself comfortable. You can keep the pillow on your lap we're gonna to start to soften everything from head to toe. So closing your eyes if you're comfortable or looking straight ahead, looking at something that's very pleasing and we will soften and relax. So this visual imagery guidance is for you to bring yourself to a peaceful place, a, peace, a place that brings peace and ease to you where you can um, experience pleasant uh, 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 elements, such as all of the um, senses. So that place might be your backyard, it might be a vacation spot, it may be beach or the mountain or wherever it is. So in your mind's eye, bring yourself to a peaceful place, a garden, park, whatever. So visualize that space. Breathing softly. Now, please start thinking about things that you can see that bring happiness. So what do you see in your peaceful place? Inhale and exhale. It doesn't have to be five things, but whatever. Somebody needs to be muted that I'm hearing. All right, just, okay, good. All right. <clears throat> what do you see? Are you seeing, if you're in a garden, are you seeing the flowers? Are you seeing the beautiful green grass? Now let's move on to what um, things that you can hear. What are the peaceful, happy sounds that you hear in your favorite space? I'm envisioning that you're, everyone's in a beautiful, nature environment, whether it's at the ocean or a mountain or a garden or park near you. What do you hear? What are the nature sounds? Sound of the leaves and the wind, birds, children laughing, whatever. Inhale and exhale. And now think about three things that you can touch. What can you reach out and touch and feel the texture, the gentle, soft, pleasing texture? Maybe you're holding hands with a special person and just the touch of someone else's warm hand. Now think about two things that you can smell, the lovely scents of your space. Maybe it's a smell of a lilac that's still in bloom. Maybe it's a smell of the ocean. 
the sea spray, whatever it is for you. Maybe it's brownies baking in the oven. Inhale and exhale. And thinking about brownies or other things to taste, bring your mind to your sense of taste. What can you taste that brings happiness? Inhale and exhale. Special meal, smell of those warm brownies. Smell, smell and taste are so related, aren't they? The taste of the brownie, taste of a delicious piece of fruit. Inhale and exhale. And slowly opening your eyes. And we'll set up for relaxation. So if you haven't already, push yourself back into your chair, do so. And if, once again, if it feels comfortable to have that cushion on your lap, do that or a blanket. Wiggle into the chair. Close your eyes. and focus in on our breath, on your breath. Inhale and exhale long and slow. Again, if it feels good to place one hand on the heart and one on the low belly, to stay connected. Otherwise, just let those arms relax, soften. So we do a body scan here from head to toe. Letting those shoulders and ears relax. Give yourself a big yawn to stretch out the jaw. Maybe go back to that lion's breath. Ah, let it out. Put a smile on your face. Softening the chest and the belly and the hips. Sort of really feel your hips and glutes anchoring into that chair. No place to go. The legs are soft and the feet are soft. So if it feels comfortable to move the feet so that the soles are touching or leaving them flat, but just very light. So we're not pressing our feet as firmly as we did into the mat earlier maybe widening the legs a little bit. Just find a spot so the legs are relaxed and not in tension mode. Inhale and exhale, soften and enjoy a few moments of relaxation. So start bringing awareness back to your breath. Nice long inhales and exhales. Gentle movements of your fingers and your wrists, maybe circling those wrists, wiggling your toes circling the ankles. A gentle circling of the shoulders. Do it slow as if you were just waking up. Rock side to side. And then find yourself settled back into the chair comfortably. And we'll close with a poem by Dana Folds, and this poem is called Allow. There's no controlling life. Try controlling a lightning bolt containing 
tornado, dam a stream and it, will re and it will create a new channel. Resist and the tide will sweep you off your feet. Allow and grace will carry you to higher ground. The only safety lies in letting it all in. The wild with the weak, fear, fantasies, failures and success. When loss rips off the doors of the heart or sadness veils your vision in despair, practice, becoming, practice becomes simple bearing the truth. In the choice to let go of the known way of being, the whole world is revealed to your new eyes. Let's place our hands together at heart center, thumbs pressing towards the sternum, sitting tall. Take a breath in and out. Do that a couple more times. Inhale and smile and exhale, blow it out. Inhale and exhale. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Namaste.